So I want to share another story with you today. Today I want to talk about the OG of the Real Housewives of Orange County, Vicki Gungelson. Gungelson. Vicky G. Okay, so this show is really, really, really driving me crazy this year. I mean, I always thought that I watched television for entertainment. Turns out it's running up my damn therapy bill. I mean, this show has got my nerves bad. I can't watch it without a glass of wine. No, I mean, without a bottle of wine. This show is intense, and it's intense for one reason. Because most of the franchise has a designated crazy person on the show. You know, like Ramona, you know, act crazy when the show gets kind of slow. This one doesn't have a designated crazy person. Because everyone on the show is the designated crazy person. Like, every single one. In a loving way, you know, I just, you know, they, they just have a lot going on. I mean, a lot. And since um, Heather's gone, when it gets intense, no one's there to calm it down. Because usually, you, and the root of the problem every year is always, always, always Vicky and Tamara. Every single year. Except the year Vicky took a year off to beat up on Gretchen. Besides that, it's just these two. And it just causes havoc and chaos. It's like an avalanche. But usually, Heather would try to bring it down. You know, like, try to be calm and classy. Let's talk about it. But now that she's gone... There's no, there's no referee because, you know, Shannon, who I love, is going through a hard time, you know, very hard time. And when she's stressed, she gets mean, like really, really mean. Either she's mean or when she's happy, she goes around talking crazy, you know, like top of the Barbie, or whatever it is. And then she wears crazy clothes, you know, and she needs a little help on her shoe game. But she's still a nicer person when she's happy. Happy, but we all know she you knows she's going through the process of getting a divorce. You know, David's got to go. You know, these two are great people, but not great together. We need Shannon to smile again and maybe go shopping. You know, get you know, get a different wardrobe. You know, she's already losing the weight, so that's good. When Shan, when Tamara and Vicky go at it, Shannon jumps in this season and makes it worse. <laughs> you lied about cancer. You knew Brooks had cancer. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yes, she lied. Brooks lied about cancer. Brooke, Vicky, I don't care. Someone lied about cancer. But but can we put a, a shelf life on it? Like, how long are we going to be mad about this? I mean, I, is it going to be a decade? I mean, it's been a minute. So hopefully, you know, nicer Shannon will be better and we don't have to talk about Brooks anymore. So she jumps in, she brings up, she goes off about Brooks. Then we got the equally high strung, also going through a divorce, Kelly Dodd. No. The minute we laid eyes on Kelly, she was like, hi, my name is Kelly Dodd, and I hate my husband, Michael. <laughs> intense, okay? Th this season, she's arguing with Michael. She's equally as intense. You know, and I, I'm glad these two are getting a divorce. I mean, that sounds mean, but you know, I just can't wait, because maybe she'll turn into nicer Kelly. Nicer Kelly likes to have fun, Drink a lot, and then when you know when she's drunk, you know then she says mean things. But it's still better than dealing with I can't stand Michael Kelly. So you know the the cast is intense, and it's too much. So the word is during the reunion, Nikki uh, Vicky gets upset, walks off the show, and threatens to quit. Well, says I quit, but I call it threaten to quit now. Everything about this show is so intense. But did you see how calm I was when I told you what was going on with Vicky? Vicky threatened to quit. I'm so calm because she does it every single year. Every single year. Don't talk about Brooks. I'm out of here. <laughs> every year. Then Tamara gets it. This is crazy. She'll be back. Vicky is not going anywhere. You know, I think she enjoys the, the uh, check. <laughs> she enjoys the paycheck. And she enjoys... The show. She loves, she loves being on the show. Loves it, loves it, loves it. You know, I mean, until it goes bad. That's when she threatens to qu quit and then she... Because Vicky kind of loves money. I mean, just a little bit. But, you know, that's not the only thing going on with this cast. So, word on the street is that the two divorcees, Shannon and Kelly, are now the best of buds. They are helping each other through their divorces. They are becoming... They're relying on each other and they're becoming... The best of friends. Now, in the ordinary world, this would be a positive thing. 
two women leaning on each other, being each other's support systems. But not in the world of crazy Real Housewives of Orange County. No! What? Listen, these two are too strung out. Not strung out, high strung. They're too explosive to be friends. Like, I don't know how I'm going to watch it next season. I'll probably be doing my reviews from my therapist's office. No! I mean, that's just what I think. It could be the best thing. It could calm both of them. You know, and they will be the loving cast that they, you know, strive to be. I mean, I think they strive to be, you know, I think they want to be happy. That's what Tamara said. You know, she just wants to be, you know, peaceful. She always says she wants to be, you know, a peaceful, loving person. But she's probably one of the meanest people on the show. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. Listen, now that Tamara's found, Tamara's found God, and now that Kelly and Shannon are friends, and hopefully Vicky will be over I don't know what, no. I was hoping that next season will be real peaceful, but I mean, Vicky and Tamara, they've got to learn to come together. They don't want to come together. Now, Tamara's a whole other story, and I have to say that for another article, but for this report, I'm here to report that Vicky Gums may be quitting the Real Housewives of Orange County, and Kelly and Shannon have a new budding friendship where they can rely on each other, and this is great news, right? Okay, yeah, you know, um, that's what's going on. You know, I can't wait to watch the reunion. You know, I probably will be doing my review from the, you know, Psycho War. This is intense. But let me know in the comment, comment section if the Real Housewives of Orange County has driven you to drink. <laughs> and if you think that Vicky's quitting the show. In the meantime, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. I'm out.